Hey angels, hey, hey y'all. Y'all, I am chilling, about to go to bed, y'all. Ooh, it is late. Not too late, but it's late for me. I'm getting ready to lay it down so I can get my booty to work tomorrow. Yeah, I'm trying to put my office together and stuff like that, but you know, you're just working with what you got type of thing at work. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to come on because, yeah, I just wanted to talk. I just wanted to get some stuff off, off my heart for a second, you know, um, not off my chest, off my heart. So, you know. I've been doing really well. I've been doing really well in, you know, my daily my daily world, you know, my daily life. And um you know, it has I don't want to say distracted me because you got to handle business, you got to be an adult and you know, you got to take care of shit and you know, um so that's going to take you away from your leisure, you know, um, sometimes you don't have as much leisure, you know, when you, um, punch a clock for the most part and, you know, got to handle business and things like that, you know, you're a single person running a household and stuff like that, you know, I mean, as much as people say what they say about me, um, you know, that is me. That is my daily life. It, it always has been. And, but I will always forever enjoy the time that I was able to build with the people that I was able to build with on YouTube, you know, because I believe everything happens for a reason. And, um, you know, the way things were going a few years back, you know, it just like the timing, just things just happened, you know, as I was, um, you know, starting to have an interest in new things and, um, you know, time in my life where I also was no longer employed. So with not being employed and being laid off to get my license and stuff done and all of that, you know, I ended up having the time to spend on the, the things that I began to be interested in. And, you know, here we were here on YouTube. And, you know, as time goes on and, you know, you're still watching, you're still around, you're still, you know, moving and grooving in, in the YouTube streets. I just noticed that it's like so many people, so many people, it seems like started right here. And you know what? I kind I have been kind of paying attention to that, kind of noticing it. I don't know. It's just like, dang, really pretty much a lot of people just kind of bumped in each other in our chat over here, you know? And then everybody just kind of spread it around. But um, just Blaze, just Blaze Detroit, beautiful person. I really think, I think she's a good person. I don't know her or anything like that, but, you know, she... Um, had been in my chat before and stuff like that and y'all know her you know she she's around but um I just have always respected her point of view on things because I, I think she you know has a good head on her shoulders and I mean as you get to see even though all people are doing is typing in the chat um you know a lot of the main topics that get a lot of people riled up in the beef sector are serious topics, serious everyday situations that really need, we need to have the serious conversations about. We need to get understanding about and, and really work on in the real world. And, you know, it starts with the conversation. It starts with making change, you know, one person at a time. But, um, you know, it, it always seems to get lost in the beef, you know. But when those conversations come up, you really get to see the mindset of a lot of people and how they think and feel about certain things. And so just Blaze, I, I feel like, you know, her responses to things and her comments about things um, shows that she has a pretty decent head on her shoulders. So anyway, with that being said, uh, she had 
made a video just speaking on some things, um, pointing out some things that she felt like she needed to say. And, you know, typing in the chat is a lot. So she felt like it would be better to make a video. And she had made a statement about, um, and something's going on, and I'm not exactly sure what it is. But something is definitely going on and um, with uh, someone very close to my channel. And um, I don't know, but I just hope it all works out. But with that, um, you know, she made the statement because, you know, the colorism conversation had come up again. And um, not for any real reason that it should be coming up just for the beef shit. But she had said, she was like, a lot of us came to know each other in a mixed ch chick uh, chat, you know, biracial woman's chat for the most part or whatever. And so when she said that, I'm like, dang, I'm glad somebody else was thinking that because, I mean, not glad, but, you know, it was just, you know, I just feel like a lot of people met up, you know, just kind of, you know, being in our chat we used to have some really, really amazing conversations. Um, things really would hit home, you know. And this was just really a place where people felt comfortable to be themselves, um, the, their real self, not their YouTube self, you know, because there is a difference. And even though there was one thing, Tracy had made a statement a long time ago. Well, you know while back or whatever and i mean people just thought it was the dumbest shit she ever said like youtube is real life what are you talking about this is real life and people were like she didn't lost it she's stupid as fuck like what is she talking about but it really is i mean it's real people let me say it like that excuse me it's real people Real people, and this is what I'm getting to, and this is kind of what I wanted to speak on, because, you know, um, people will say it's the internet, it's YouTube, you know, I got a real life, y'all miserable on here, y'all don't got shit going on, you know, basically, if you disagree with somebody on here, they gonna claim, you don't get no dick, you don't get no pussy, you miserable, you ain't got shit going on, you broke. You ain't got no job. You don't got no family. Nobody loves you. Like, I mean, I guess you're just the most fucked up person. But the same people who say that stuff is right here. <laughs> you're right here, too. And guess what? You probably pay more attention to the shit that's going on than the person you're talking about. Even that new person that was just around the heat or something like that or whatever. It's like, it's so funny listening to these people try to justify their point of view when they're talking about somebody else because the same point or the same justification that they're using to make their point to degrade one person could be used to build another one up. It's the same shit. They'll be on here like, you know, she had made a statement about people and their husband I really think a lot of these people on here are lying about having husbands because where are they at like what husband would just allow their wife to just be on YouTube hours and hours a day but yet the one person that let you up on their channel so anybody in the beef sector could even know who the hell you were is on YouTube for hours and hours a day and has kids and a husband and very much so uh life off of YouTube so you don't think that bullet that bullet hit her too when you shot it you know like it, it's just funny like you're you're talking down on somebody on one person you know and at the same time you're you know it's hitting people that you claim to be pretty decent with you know talking about somebody's weight you know you're talking about how one person is like two of you and you know they're just so ugly and so fucked up and just so big and just so you know nasty and unattractive because of their weight yet again you claim to be decent or cordial with a person you know so I mean 
it just is what it is. I don't know. Um, not saying that anybody has to feel a way when a person makes a statement about somebody, but I just feel like when very general statements are being made and you're making assumptions about people's lives, like it's so weird because it's like, you know, it's okay for you to be on YouTube. It's okay for you to spend hours upon hours. It's okay for you to jump from one live to another. It's okay for you to talk down on this person, beef with this person, pick and, and poke at, at what a person should and shouldn't be doing and how they should and shouldn't be acting. Yet, when someone doesn't agree with your point or has an opposing statement, to what you're trying to say then they're miserable and, and they don't have no life and they you know they're just on youtube because they don't got shit else going on it's just i'm so sick of hearing that shit i'm so sick if i hear one more person say you know i got a real life outside of here and you know y'all motherfuckers need to do this that, and the third and it's like everybody got a real life outside of here everybody does but still we here Okay, <laughs> you hear your notifications start going off. You still go take whatever you're doing at that moment and turn your phone on, click that notification and go into that live stream and listen or type or interact or get on the panel or whatever. But you're there. You know what's going on. And even going further, even going further than that, you have people who go off of YouTube. So people will say they got a real life. They got this and that going on. You know, YouTube is just entertainment. YouTube is just, you know, this is just something I like to do, something that passes time. But, you know, I got a real life off side of here. You know, I got real shit going on. Okay, cool. Well, some people, they build so much of a rapport with people in the chat and on YouTube that they take it off of YouTube. They will email, they will DM, they will, you know, connect on other social medias, even phone numbers. Some even exchange phone numbers and have actual um, conversation. That's fine. Whatever people choose to do and how you choose to connect is fine. It is social media. It's no YouTube is no different than you meeting somebody, you DMing somebody on Instagram and hooking up with that person and meeting that person or going out with that person or on Facebook. Somebody inbox you on Facebook and, you know, you start being friends or whatever. It's, it's really no different. It's just another social media platform. Okay, so people meet on social media platforms all the time. There's all types of dating apps and all types of places where you can meet people. YouTube is one of them. If you choose to interact with people off of the live stream or out of, outside of the chats and the comment section, that is your choice. It is your prerogative. If you feel like a part you like a person's personality so much that you feel like that's somebody that you would like to get to know more on whatever level you're trying to do that on, that's great. You never know. You might meet the, the best friend of your life. You might meet the love of your life. You never know. My thing is, though, it becomes very, very hard on the other people that you may have a rapport with, right? Because there's thing this thing on YouTube that... You know, people, it's a beef sector. So people are not going to get along. But then you also have, you know, at one point, it seemed very clear cut. Certain people did not mingle. If you were part of, if you were engaging in these chats and in this group of people, then you didn't mingle over here. Now it's pretty much everybody everywhere, which is awesome. I feel like it's awesome. I feel like this is how it should be. And even though the mass majority feels like that's how it should be, go where you want, support who you want, interact with who you want, 
a lot of people really don't believe that. Secretly, when they now have an issue with a person, they want you to have that issue also. Or they want you to share in that. They're not going to say it. They're going to say, oh, I don't care where you go. Oh, I don't care that you're over there. Oh, I don't care. You know, when really they do. They Now they feel a way. Because you didn't choose them. Or you didn't choose to make the move that they made. And it gets real hard for people because that um, have a rapport or seem to like like a person. You know, because it's like, I'm, I wasn't there for those conversations. I'm sorry whatever happened, happened. But y'all cho chose to have a relationship off of YouTube. Y'all chose to talk on the phones and laugh, kiki, joke, whatever. Whatever you did, you chose to have that interaction. And then you got burnt. You found out that person wasn't who you thought they was. Fine. It happens all the time in real life. It might be a family member. They just ain't who you thought they was. A friend. You was friends for 20 years. And, you know, different situations will bring out different things in people. My point is that those of us, let me speak for me, me, I choose to not have those personal interactions outside of YouTube. I tried to do it, um, you know, and I'm not going to say I just don't because I have a handful, but a, just that handful um, of people that are very dear to me. But, you know, I try to allow myself to be available, to be open, to be accessible, you know, outside of the live stream. And it got messy, you know, and I'm just saying that in the sense where I started to see things that I didn't like in people. And so with that, you know, I didn't want that. I don't want to be the person that's receiving receipts on people's business. I don't care. I don't want to hear about this, that and the third and what messy fucked up shit is going on and who's interacting with who and all of this stuff because I don't care. Um, the thing about it is I trust you as far as I can see you and on YouTube, that's very limited. And that's just the way it is for me. If you're in my chat or I see you in the chat, you speak, you throw me a heart, a hug, whatever. I trust that. If we have a conversation, we have an interaction. I trust that it's very surface level for me because I don't know anything past that. I don't know anything outside of that interaction. You know, you can be in somebody else's chat who's dragging me the next day and you right there cheering it on. You know, that's what I have come to know about YouTube. I've come to know that the Internet is very fickle. You know, it shifts and it moves with the wind. And, and the people do, too. And so, you know, I trust the moment at that time that's going on and if it stays like that cool and if it doesn't i get it and that's just where what i have chosen to how i've chosen to view things and see things because i feel like that's the way it is um you know and i don't have the outside interactions that a lot of people on youtube do there's a lot of people who have the phone numbers and have the conversations. And for me, that's a whole lot because that's where, to me, you must not have a whole lot going on in your real life. And how people pay their bills and how people live and feed themselves and are able to not do pretty much nothing but YouTube and still be able to live and survive every day. I don't know, but kudos to y'all, okay, because... As much as people talked about that year that I wasn't working, <laughs> you know, 
I've been back to work a lot longer than that time I was off. And it's a lot of people who I see are still doing the same thing. Okay. Um, so, and that's your business, but it's just funny because it's just like, if you can spend hours upon hours and see all the live streams and know everything that happened and every beef and everything that's going on, and then you're off of YouTube and you're DMing and you're messaging and you're voice messaging and you're talking on the phone and all of that shit. And it's pretty much all YouTube because that's what you have in common. See, relationships build, their foundation is built off of what brought you together. And that's why a lot of YouTube relationships don't work out because a lot of people were brought together on beef, right? Either you had a common enemy or, you know, maybe you had a similar situation happen to you, um, whatever. But usually it's based off of something negative that brought you together when it comes to the beef sector. So that's your foundation. That is your floor that is laid. And whatever else happens, it's going to be built on top of that. But it's always going to come back to that foundation, right? So... You know, even though you may have found things, other things that you guys are have in common or are interested in and you talk about and you share with each other, um, it's always going to come back to what brought you together. And that's why a lot of things, a lot of YouTube relationships don't last. But with that being said, you know, with all the time that the beef sector has been around, you know, people should have learned their lesson to be careful with the people that you interact with off of here. It's one thing to interact on here and be cordial and laugh and joke and fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. But to invite people into your space outside of here, it's almost like you're at work. You're doing your shift at work. You have coworkers. You're cordial. You work together. You learn how to make, make stuff happen and just deal with that person at work. But now after work, now you start to allow this person to, oh, yeah, you can call me or whatever. So now they're calling you outside of work. Now you might choose, okay, yeah, we can go out. We can do this or whatever. Now you're going out together. But it's all based off of that foundation that brought y'all together. Which probably wasn't a good interaction or it wasn't a good situation. But you're trying to be nice. And so, or even if it's a person, a coworker that you do have a rapport with, right? But it's always going to come back to work. So it's most likely going to end because now there's going to be some feelings. Because now with the more time you spend with a person, you feelings start to happen. And it doesn't have to be romantic feelings, but there's feelings there. There's a care that's going to start to happen. You care. So now when that person isn't available to you like they used to be, or that person is spending more time with another coworker or getting close to the new guy that just came in or, you know, just whatever your feelings are involved and you care. So now there's going to be some animosity that's going to start to be built up. And that's the same thing with YouTube. You came together on this common platform you went off of YouTube and you started to talk and, and build a rapport and build a friendship, you saw it. And so now you care. Now you have feelings in it, whether you like to admit it or not. And so now when things are happening that you don't like and you're starting to see things that you maybe didn't see before, didn't notice before, or you are starting to feel a way that you probably wouldn't have felt a way before, but now you do because you feel like you have a relationship that other people probably don't have with this person. So, you know, and this is, and this is where accountability comes in. And this is where really looking at yourself and looking at the part that you play in a situation. Right? Because build talk to everybody you want to if you want to talk to every single person that you meet in the chat and every content creator that's in the beef sector go ahead but when the shit don't work out like it usually don't you know it's not up to the people the other people that 
you like or that like you to feel the same way as you. Because they didn't have that relationship that they had, that you had. They didn't have that interaction that you had, that you had with that person. They didn't make themselves available like you did. It's not saying it's right or wrong, but it's just be careful who you let get close to you. Whatever is being whatever is being searched for on YouTube probably isn't there if these situations keep happening. Because they keep happening. You're constantly seeing somebody that was cool. They went off of YouTube. They caught themselves being cool with each other. Boom, some shit happened. They don't like it. Somebody getting their feelings. Now somebody going to come out to YouTube, start talking shit. And everybody, now you want people to pick a side. Now... You know, people are supposed to feel away, blah, blah, whatever. But we weren't there for the friendship. We weren't there for those conversations. We weren't there for those interactions. Now we're here, we're thrown into the aftermath. And so now it's a back and forth because you got this person saying this and this person going to come fill in this and vice versa. And it's just a big ass mess. And it's just like... Don't get upset with me because you chose to be friends with a snake. I wasn't friends with the snake. I keep it on here. If somebody say this on YouTube, if that's what you say, that's what you say. I could give a fuck one way or the other. I take it for what it is because guess what? I don't care. It's not that deep. I'm not giving you my money. I'm not trying to be your friend. I'm not trying to meet you in real life. I'm not trying to do no business with you. I'm not trying to go on no trip with you. I'm not trying to be romantic with you. I'm not trying to do any of that shit. I'm just trying to be on YouTube and just chill and talk shit and have a good time. Like, literally what it's supposed to be there for. I'm not on here to build relationships and to make friends and to go off of YouTube and talk about everything that happened on YouTube and talk about how because it's all fun and games when you're talking about a bitch and y'all got the common enemy and y'all all getting along but then when you find out the same way they was talking about that person and now they're gonna talk about you now it's not fun anymore well what did you think what what did you think was gonna happen you thought you was exempt oh you too good to be talked about you too good to be treated how they was treating that other person why Why would you think that? A snake is a snake. And they don't give a fuck. And then the thing about it is, it's like y'all will move from one snake to another. Birds of a feather flock together. I believe that with everything in me. So with that being said, people that were once in this group and so cool and and it was all a kiki are now separated and now y'all want to talk about each other like ain't ain't none of y'all shit in the grand scheme of things because when y'all was all cool y'all was all on the same shit and doing the same shit but now that it done split up it ain't like y'all split up and became better people you just split up and doing the same fuck shit with different people now so with that being said, the shit is just fucked up. And it just really, y'all who be going off of YouTube and being on these phones and having these interactions and calling yourself making friends, y'all really make it hard for the people that's really on YouTube for what YouTube is for. Because now it's like, you know, oh my God, you know, like, you know, like, oh, my God, like, you're listening to that or they're saying this. And it's like, if you listen to what somebody's saying on here and you believe in them with all your heart, <laughs> that's a you problem. Okay. I don't trust none of these motherfuckers and I don't believe in nothing that nobody fucking say. I'll take what you say and do at face value and it is what it is. I'm not digging no deeper than that. 
So, believe is a strong word, you know. Friend is a strong word. Love is a strong word. There's a lot of strong terms that are used when it comes to YouTube when you honestly don't know none of these people. So, I don't know. I just had to get that off my chest because it's just like, it's just so crazy. It's so crazy because it's just like, you know, I, I love the people that are a part of my channel and that support me and... I just, you know, I just wish that it it wasn't so hard to just be a part of something that's supposed to be fun. Because people's feelings get involved, and I don't know why. <laughs> why are your feelings involved? Why do you give a fuck that much? You know, I just don't understand. And, and maybe it's me. Maybe I'm fucked up because I barely have emotions in the first place or whatever, but... And so maybe I'm just fucked up and whatever, but y'all just make it hard. So, you know, don't put the pressure of you choosing the wrong people to interact with on the people who didn't choose to have those interactions. Keep that for you. So anyway, I hope everybody has a good night. I'm going to go to bed, y'all. And, um... I love y'all so, so much. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to my beautiful moderators, my handsome moderators. I love y'all. I hope y'all doing well. I just hope everybody is doing well. Shout out to all my supporters. And um, I will see y'all very soon. I'll see y'all very soon. I love y'all. Bye-bye.